Hello, I'm Dr. Inman. This is a miniature video on hyperthyroidism in kitty cats. Uh, we have a number of different therapies for all kinds of endocrine disease conditions, Addison's disease, Cushing's disease, um, diabetes mellitus, etc., etc., diabetes insipidus. Essentially, these endocrine diseases and also hypothyroidism we treat in the canine re relatively well with a combination of laser, essentially, and, um, uh, and BOM technology, mostly laser. That's the good news. The bad news is, is the hyperthyroid cat has been kind of like the holy grail of the uh, laser frequency specific laser therapy. We should theoretically be able to treat a low uh, hyper producing thyroid adenoma with our adenoma frequencies and also the frequency of 59 for the uh, actual um, for the actual um, thyroid and also the pituitary that stimulates the thyroid. We end up with a hyperthyroid cat basically being a kitty cat with a normal appetite that just gets scrawny and they'll end up sometimes with skin problems and all kinds of other conditions. They're kind of bony and it looks like they're wasting away. And then we run a thyroid test to find out that the thyroid's in the stratosphere. We can use medications to poison the thyroid essentially to try to decrease its increased amount of, of thyroid-like hormone that's being produced that's burning this animal up. They can have other kinds of problems, cardiovascular and also um, yeah, thoracic effusate. They can have all kinds of other problems associated with chronic hyperthyroidism. The reason I mentioned that, that for instance, when we utilize the uh, techniques to laser these animals or laser their thyroid or what have you, like we do in the canine for hypothyroidism, uh, we don't get the same results in the kitty cat. And we have for the last 15 years researched and, and tried to find the actual healing formula for hyperthyroidism in cats. Very common, essentially, but we don't have a real good solution. So you're used to me telling uh, you that I can treat a rainy day with this particular device, and I'm here to tell you right now that we haven't figured it out yet. We're still trying, but we haven't figured out what the actual healing uh, key of frequencies is for the hyperthyroid cat, essentially. And so there can be other techniques of treating hyperthyroid cats, including um, uh, radioactive iodine, I'm sorry, radioactive iodine that we inject into the kitty cat to selectively kill the iodine cells in the, um, utilizing cells in the thyroid. And that has been done along with uh, the products that we use the, the orally, and they can keep these animals relatively healthy, essentially, for a longer period of time. So here's a situation where we have not given up, but we don't have a solution for hyperthyroidism in the cats. I apologize for that. We continue to look for one, and you'll be the first to know, essentially, as soon as we find that, essentially, because it'll be a big deal. It is a common disease condition, very, very, very commonly un non -di undiagnosed, essentially, and also we see low-grade or borderline cases, essentially, as, as opposed to full-blown um, clinical hyperthyroid type cats. So um, this has been a lecture on hyperthyroidism in the, in the feline and the end result of this is that we still don't have a good therapy for this. Our therapies that we use using three-pointed laser essentially uh, for endocrine disease only has about a 40% success rate and that's not good enough for us to publish. If you have any more information about the other 2,700 disease conditions that we treat with laser and also VOM, I'd have you go to the momtech.com website and search some of the things that we're able to take care of and look at how the technique is delivered, etc., and answer more questions. Or you can contact me at 888-935-4866. Thank you, and have a great day.